Today I'm going to be turning this mini PC with the AMD Ryzen 6800H into a ultimate retro emulation machine. Let's get to the video. All right, so what you need is obviously the mini PC itself, which has 16 gigabytes of RAM, eight cores and 16 threads. And the integrated GPU is called the AMD Radeon 6080M. You also need a retro gaming hard drive, which I got from Amazon for about $50. And you also need a PC mouse. All right, so now I'm going to be plugging in this USB for my wireless mouse onto one of these USB ports that is on my mini PC. So I plugged in the USB for the wireless mouse, and now I'm going to be plugging in the USB for this retro gaming hard drive into the other USB port that is in the front of my mini PC right now. And as you guys can see here, both of these products are now plugged in into the mini PC. So let's get into the next part. All right, so now I am on the Windows 11 mini PC. And as you guys can see here, I'm going to my file explorer. What you must go to is retro bat. That's what you must do. Then you go to retro bat file here. Then what you must do is pretty much go to the RetroBat XE. That's what you pretty much must do. And now that's pretty much done. Now RetroBat will start loading up. All right, so now RetroBat has started up. Let's try out a PlayStation 2 game. Okay, so I picked Tekken 5 for the PS2 game, and it's running almost at 60 frames per second. And the game settings that I picked is 1080p, 60 hertz, and that's for video mode, and let's go to a GameCube game. The GameCube game that I picked was Mario Kart Double Dash, and as you guys can see here, it is running at a stable 60 frames per second. There's no frame rate drops or anything like that. No audio stuttering or anything, just crystal clear, smooth 60 frames per second. For the game settings that I picked was 1080p, 60 hertz, and everything else is pretty much set to auto. Now let's get on to a DS game. All right, I picked Mario Kart DS for the DS game to test out. And as you guys can see here, it is running at a stable 60 frames per second. And it's only using about 4.2 at max 6% of the CPU and yeah no audio stutters or anything like that audio you know running smoothly and all that running at a crystal clear 60 frames per second and as far as the game settings goes I picked 1080p 60 hertz game aspect ratio set the auto decorations I turned off pretty much set the none and smooth games bilinear filtering I turned that on and yeah let's get on to the end of the video all right so that was pretty much me turning my AMD Ryzen 6800 H mini PC into an ultimate retro emulation machine. Obviously, you can play PlayStation 2 games, GameCube games, and Nintendo DS games as well. It performs way better than the Atari VCS by a long shot. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below this YouTube video. This is Lavon Case and sign out, and peace, and thanks for watching.